Okay. So I reduced settings a little bit. Um, it's probably honestly my laptop's fault. <laughs> it's probably just that. Just saying. So thanks for your patience, everyone. I'm sorry that was happening. Thanks for letting me know, though, so I could fix it. Hopefully permanently. Um, I basically just rebooted everything and also lowered my settings a teeny tiny bit in terms of outputs. That way it's not... Has, it doesn't have to do that much heavy lifting. Um, okay. So I think we're good. Okay. There we go. Okay, my sound is here. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, was, I can't see. There we go. Alright, let me know if it starts fucking up again. Oh, he's... At least I can hit him through that, so there's that. There we go. Okay. One of these has to be a fake... There we go. This is interesting, though. This is very nice. Yeah, I saw you over there. Can't sneak up on me. Treasure that I can't see. <laughs> Oh, mine. Treasure that I can't see at all. I thought I got his B attack, but I guess I didn't. Okay. This is open. I can push. Oh, wait. Hold on. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see what I must do. This one is fake. Yep. There we go. Push that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very nice. I like this. This I like. It's like, let's show you something in the darkness that you can't see. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's a door that opened. Yeah, I can't get through there yet. Anything here? Hey we got can squeeze in here. Burn, baby, burn! Push this block. Push this block. Okay, this one needs to be pushed the other way. Yeah, I think I push it this way and then I push it back. Okay, because that one needs to go over there as well. Ow. A few hits. A few hits. Tough to see in here. Tough to see in here. <laughs> but this is uh, way better than the pirate thing. Way better. <laughs> there we go. And that should be the final gate. Perfect. And this was just a bonus area too. This was not even like the main thing. This was just like a bonus thing because I had a fire skylander. Which I could see why they needed a fire skylander for this. <laughs> You need to light up everything. Burn! Everything burns! Everything wooden burns. Not everything burns. And I got a pretty little hat. <laughs> it's a chef's hat. Okay. I see what you did there. 10 critical hit and 10 elemental power. It's not a hat that's useful for a uh, hot dog, though. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Would have been nice if they had a teleport thing there, but okay. You know what? Whatever. I'll walk back. It's fine. Hot dog's like the fastest character I have, too, actually. Alright, there. Finally, I can see the light. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Um, bounce pad? Is that what I'm supposed to? Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. 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 
Uh, that, okay, that, all right, there we, okay. <laughs> it's like, okay, we're supposed to do this, gotcha, okay. There we go. Now I can open door. Yay! I'm free for my cage. Ow, that hit me? How did that hit me? Not sure how that hit me. Jesus. It's good thing I pulled up there when you got hit by that. I ate the pies. I'm a fat doggy. I'm probably gonna die. I don't think dogs should be eating pies. Clairol should eat the pies. Bouncy! Money! Money in my tummy! Now, wasn't there a thingy back here? No? No? I can't go back that way. Okay. No? Okay. Alright. Alright. We're good. We're good. And I need, uh... Islanders of the magic element are stronger in this Magic zone. element. Eh, no one with a run move. I don't know if I can... Yeah, okay, I can, I can run through here. I mean, hot dog's fast, so... It's all good. Hot dog is quite literally the fastest character I have. Ow. Jesus. The tree guys don't do as much damage, though, as the sword guys, so... There's that. Also, Hot Dog has a shit ton of health, actually. Well, actually, no. I don't know why he actually doesn't take that much damage. Maybe he's got extra armor versus other characters, I don't know. I'm not complaining. I'm just weirded out by it. Move, please! Move, please! Move, move please! Okay. <laughs> Oh, 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 ah, that's new. They've never done that before. Let's see. Can you take me higher? There's a fly in my face. <laughs> Not a good time, fly. Spookies! Spookies. Spooky spooks. Yeah, the game really drops frame rate here. It cannot handle the fog effect. It can't handle it. It's like the only level I've seen with the fog effect. It can't handle it. Weird, because the frame rate's usually never bad, but yeah. It's way easier on the uh, frame rate once the uh, fog is gone. I'm gonna hate that hedge mage. That he hedge mage. The hedge maze. I'm gonna hate that shit. I can see it now. See all that? We're gonna have to walk through that. I'm gonna hate it. I will hate it with a burning passion. Oh no! Oh fuck! Well, how was I supposed to know? You can't do that to me, game. Let me go. Let me be a free dog. Let me be a free puppy. Please don't kill. Please don't kill. Let me go. Thank you. <laughs> right, make sure to kill all the night dudes before we switch. Because those night guys are deadly. They do like 200 damage a hit. You're gonna need to be in the ghost world to activate this lock. I need to be in the ghost world? Okay. So I got the cannon up there. Does that like blow all this up or... Oh, okay. That's what I thought I was supposed to do. Not not exactly sure of the timing on that, but okay. I get it. I gotta switch worlds. Whee! And let's switch back. Eye brawl. You know, fit the theme a little better. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> I love Eyebrow. He's so fun, because you get to pop his little freaking eye out. There's a good destruction upon the world. Love it. I somehow picked up money. I don't know where I, I don't know where I got this money. Okay. I have to be careful not to smack that red thing into me. I know that came out really, really sexual. <laughs> I don't like when red things smack into me. Oh, that was it? No. 
Okay. The conveyor belt was completely a, a bait and switch. Okay. Inside the house. This isn't how locks open my autism is <laughs> I don't think this game is very good for autists at all. I don't think so. See, schizophrenics. Guts Gambino. We're like the opposite of autists. We don't care. <laughs> like, we... We're not bothered by things. We're like apathetic to everything. And pretty putrid crusts. Is this like a fan fiction for pies? Damn, that was some deep ass shit. Skylanders, that was deep. Right in the heart. Maybe this house, does this house change? It might actually change in the uh, happy world. The normal world. It might change. That's what it is, probably. Hey. Nice camera angle. Oh, please Love it. You are. No. All right, to be fair, before you think this is a glitch, for the record, these expansion packs were released in Spyro's Adventures. No, the green bits. They weren't released for giants, although they do work in giants. So, why is the camera angle a little fucked there? Because probably it wasn't programmed to work with a giant's character. But they didn't anticipate a giant's ass in the frame. <laughs> so, just saying, it's not really their fault. It's just that, you know, they gave us the option of using these in giants. It's the same level. So, the camera probably just wasn't coded to take into account a giant character. But, I mean, we got to look at Eyebrawl's ass. I don't know if he actually has an ass, because it is just an eyeball in a suit, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it has that. I wasn't paying attention to what he said. The hedge maze... Find and defeat Oculus. Wait, this level actually has a boss? A, a boss fight that isn't a fucking card game? For babies? Wow, it's it's almost better than the fucking pirate thing. The pirate thing is terrible. The pirate thing was terrible. This this was way better. Okay, see now we're getting a little dangerous. Wait for that to there we go. I don't want to smack into that thing. So many sexual innuendos here. <laughs> I don't want to smack into it, mommy. Nailed it. There we go. <laughs> I did it. I got their monies because I want to give Eyebrawl his B attack. Because his B attack, he summons a bunch of little eyeballs that bounce and do damage. Come with me, my minions. That's what he does. He also does that move. His hands do that. It's so adorable. Makes my dick rock hard. My dick is already rock hard, though. Who is that stupid eyeball to tell me what I can Racist. Eat? I'm right here. <laughs> They're talking about the other eyeball. Again, the ga these levels were not designed with the giants in mind. So, uh... So they so they, so it's kind of awkward being this character talking to that NPC. It's kind of awkward. Does I have a laser attack? I mean, I have a laser attack. I don't know if he has a laser attack. I have a laser attack though, but only when I'm separated from my body. I like the pew pews. I mean, technically, I don't even know if it's a laser. Oh, where did you guys come from? You can't hit me on the gingerbread eye. Okay, you can totally still hit my body, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, see, see now I'm gonna totally freaking die. <laughs> see, now that's a bad idea. Be careful. He does a shit ton of dan- Ow! See, he has no run. <laughs> that's the, that's the, he has no run ability. Poor Eyebrow. Rest in peace, Eyebrow. Rest in peace. He's a, these are actually big figures. I know someone posted in the thread that they're small. They're actually pretty big figures. They're about the size of your face. Well, they're not small. <laughs> you compare it to a regular size Skylander. Okay. Pretty big. But eyebrow's dead now. <laughs> um, go with Fright Rider. Stick with the dead theme. Fear the spear. Fear the penis. <laughs> and there we go. 
See, the thing I love about Fry Rider's ability is not only does it teleport him, basically, right, it does the damage out in a line, but he's also immune to all attacks while he's underground. So you can use it to actually sort of duck under attacks. It's really cool. I can see Oculus's maze. It's really quite simple. <laughs> For a non-ghost, that is. For a non-ghost. Okay. Ooh, okay. Bonus house here. Ghostly abode. Need to be in the ghost world. Yeah, I need to be in your ghost world. Well, first I gotta kill the knights because otherwise... Well, the thing actually is if you kill the knights in the regular world, they don't give you experience points. But fighting four knights at once? Kind of dangerous, considering you're basically a hit and a half and I'm dead. <laughs> Bright Rider's also a little damaged here. They don't give you much health in this level either. No uh, real health items. All right, wait, hold on, back up. I need to switch things so I can open that lock. Skylanders of the magic element are stronger in this zone. So wait, is the door... Where's that switch thingy? Where's the switch thingy? Where's the switch? Isn't the switch thingy... Yeah, okay, there we go. There we go. Let's jump. Turn your head. And now I can go open that uh, lock there. With Rob's permission. <laughs> I need Rob's blessing. Charge. I will say so far, none of these expansion levels are as good as the main game. But again, these expansion levels were made... For Spyro's Adventure, not Giants. So obviously I would think they improved everything in Giants, and they did. So far, nothing here has been that terribly impressive compared to the regular levels of Giants. Oh shit, okay. He's really close to me. If I go for that one, he'll kill me. So. <laughs> There we go. Got it. Now I can grab that one. Um. But if I hit the conveyor belt. No, that'll work. There we go. Careful. <laughs> Although these are actually the most complicated lock puzzles I've seen in the entire game series. How the fuck do I get there? I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. That's a toughie. <laughs> That's a toughie right there. Alright, send him through that. Get him out of there. There you go. Okay. <laughs> this is easily the toughest lock puzzles, though, that they've done. If I do that, I die. If I go to the right, I die. So I have to go left. God damn. This is a tough one. Okay. Ah. Oh. How do I... Oh my god. How does one even do this? Oh. This is why they made this one optional. <laughs> this is why they made this one optional. 
Oh my god. At least this, this one is optional. I'm gonna try one more time, but Jesus Christ. Oh wait, why did I go that way? Why did I go that way? Okay, I can't go left. But I have to hit that from the other side. <sighs> okay, that's fine. No. No, if I do that... Yeah, if I do that, I'm dead. If I go to the left, I'm dead. <laughs> Can't go left. Son of a bitch. Now we're back here again. Oh my god. How do we do this? How does we do this? Okay. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. So if I go left... It doesn't work right, so I have to go left. Ah, now he's the other side. There you go. That's that problem solved, I guess. Kind of. But that just sends me back here. <laughs> supposed to do I can't figure that out no way I don't I quit <laughs> I quit on that one it's optional I don't have to do it Jesus Christ I don't even know how to get to them let alone get to them while avoiding the red guy Jesus. That's a nasty one. Do I have to be in the regular world? Movies? I guess so. Really? That's annoying. So I have to go all the way back. Wow, that's, that's padding right there. If I've ever seen it. Go all the way back. That's not padding at all. They couldn't put another freaking switch over there? Seriously? Because I can't move those blocks in the uh, dead world. I guess they weigh more. Let's try. Did any of you guys figure that puzzle out? I appreciate that you didn't tell me the answer, but I'm curious if anyone else managed to figure that one out, because I have no idea. I could be here for another 30 minutes doing yeah. that. <laughs> Skylanders of the life element are stronger in this zone. Yeah, so our goal is to get to that key. Got it. Okay. Uh, life element. Let's try... Let's take out Tree Rex. Tree <laughs> Rex I like as well. I, d I don't hate any Skylanders. It's like no Skylanders I hate. He's OP though. <laughs> He's OP as fuck. <laughs> I mean, granted, these levels again weren't really designed for Giants characters, so. <laughs> Probably cheating <laughs> to use them. But I mean. They let you, <laughs> so there's that. 
Yeah, because I fit up there. <laughs> that's how uh, that's how that works, right? Three keys. One there. One there. Okay. Gotta get the three keys. Kill these guys before I do any switching. Tree, please die. Please die. Please die. I have no room to maneuver. <laughs> You can't touch me. You can't touch me. No, no, no. <laughs> that's that's fair, right? <laughs> now, I'm not I'm not cheating at all. I'm not. I need a block. I need to move a block. I need that to fall down. That right there. I need that to fall down. Kill that. Kill that. And there's a key for me. One life done. Money, money. In my tummy. I need to be in the undead world. For that thing to go the fuck away. Away. There we go. And now we push. And that's open now. Push. Push. Do I have to switch back to, uh... Oh, I can't even smash the trees in this world. Oh, there's just a pie there. I don't need it. Oh, wait. Oh, right. The key is here, and it, it's only accessible in that world. Oh. Tisk tisk. You know, the tree... The uh, tree Rex is, uh... Bigger than Eyebrawl. Even in the, in the game, I think he's bigger than the uh, than I brawl. So you uh, you were saying thick before. T Rex is even thicker. Pew 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 pew. pew. Uh, okay, I can't I can't aim for shit. Pew 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 pew. pew. It actually slows him down too. I noticed that it actually slows enemies down. Can I charge up his B, or did I not unlock that ability? I don't think I unlocked that ability. Cause I'm focusing on his uh, charge. Uh, ability actually I ate a pie it tasted delicious yeah it has a triple shot yeah okay okay so now we move wait no I can only move that in the uh, in the life world I am a silly boy I am a silly Clarel. wait what what? Why? Why have you forsaken me? Father! Why have you forsaken me? What the fuck do I do then? Does it have to be the undead world? I'm confused. I'm confused. How the fuck do I get through there? Oh, this is open in the... Oh, hold on. Skylanders of the undead element oh. are stronger in this zone. Okay. Skylanders of the life element are stronger in this zone. So how the fuck do I do that? But I can't push it. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I can't push it though. Yeah, it only goes that way. I don't get it. I don't understand. 140 IQ. But I don't get it. What is? What am I supposed to do? It doesn't make any sense. Uh oh. Hundred and fifty IQ, Rob. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no. God, 
Alright, just do the shoot. Just do the shooting. There we go, now I can... Okay, nope. Okay, he won't stay that way. He won't walk backwards when doing it. Ow! Alright. There we go. I already, Jesus. That was, that was, uh, that was a rough one. Ah, oh, fuck. Run away! Shh. You could beat Super Metroid. I beat Metroid Prime. What are you talking about? I beat Metroid Prime. Just beat Super Metroid. I don't like 2D Metroidvanias, honestly. I just really don't like them. Too much padding. And I, I say that knowing that some of this is padding, sure, but, yeah. Ah, uh, careful. Oh, that actually stunned him a bit, too. Okay. Figured it would, because I can't move when I'm doing it, so... It's got to have some kind of status effect. Status effects are actually more common, I think, in Swap Force. Which is the third game of the series, so I think that's really what they added as well, is a lot of, uh status effects to things, because there's a lot of them on the 3DS version of the game anyway, have a lot of status effects, so I'm assuming it's somewhat similar on the consoles. Ow! Jesus. Give me a pie. Delicious pie. It's a good thing Tree Rex has a lot of health, because, <laughs> Jesus. Not much room to maneuver in here. Move out my way. Big ass tree coming through. Oh. They really want. Ow? Okay then. I thought it was gonna stay permanently opened, but I guess not. I guess they don't stay permanently opened. Open, please! Open, please! I am not suitable for this. Please open. Please open. Thank you. Run. <laughs> Jesus. So you Christ. made it through my maze, huh? Well, I guess it's time to get my tentacles dirty. Oh. It's the boss fight time. I can't, I can't talk to him? Oh, I need to be. Do I need to be in the ghost world? Do I switch characters? I don't think Fright Rider can. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do Fright Rider. I mean, Undead is stronger here, so. We're gonna do uh, Fright Rider. Although Fright Rider has pretty low HP. We'll see what happens though. I've heard there's a way to defeat Oculus, but you have to be in the real world to do it. And since ghosts like me only live in the ghost world, we'll need you to do the honors. Okay, so I can only kill him in the real world? With the cannons. There is a okay, cannon yeah, but... The real world. It's just the thing to shoot right in his giant eyeball. But I have to get him to be in the real world. And it will pull you and Oculus into the real world. Okay. Then, just fire that cannon right into his eye. Okay, you got it. Lasers! Lasers. Everybody has lasers. Oh, no, 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 and now he's permanently locked in, like, his... Okay, this is interesting. I can see this getting difficult. If they amp it up. Cthune ripoff. <laughs> oh, no! Shit. Okay. I should have charged. I dropped him. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. No! He's okay, everyone. <laughs> he's dead, but he's... <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> um, who would be good for this? Swarm. Bring it 
Swarm would be good for this, I think. Because he could straight. Okay, we gotta avoid the giant laser that is currently locked onto my ass. Okay. All right. Man, this got this got amped up real quick. <laughs> this got amped up real quick. Can can you please die? Oh, we could fly out of the way. Thank Christ. Okay. Do I switch back? Is there we go? That's how to stop that. Okay. Good. <laughs> Oh, this is a very neat boss battle, actually. And now he's firing a lot more often. Oh, oh. The moves. The moves. Got it. Gotta kill these trees. There's too many trees. There we go. That, that works, too. Ow. That hit me? How did that hit me? Yeah, see, Swarm is perfect for this. He can just glide right on by. This is a neat boss battle. Oh, wait, he can actually destroy the trees? Oh, that's neat. Yeah, he actually destroys the trees with his laser. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't hitting me. Maybe it glitched out a bit. Excuse me, pardon me now. Swarm makes this really easy. <laughs> Drobot would also make this really easy, too. Because he can also fly. It's now time for the reign of pies. The reign of pies. What about penis? Penis pies. Hurry, At your local Claro Calamitous bakery. Going by. Here we go. Do we just leave? Oh wait, do we go that? Uh, I think we go. No. Where did we go? What do we do? Did we win? Did we not win? Are you ready to go back to the bakery? I hope so. I already know which pie I'm going to order. Does he just have blueberry? Oh, we just have to talk to him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy pies. Because Sal happy. I'm making a fortune and I'm really happy. <laughs> oh, <thanks laughs> to you. Ah, capitalism. Mm. I, I liked this I world a lot more than the I pirate one. A lot more. Eyes. That oh, boss fight was also pretty lines. pretty nice, I think. Wait. I'll expand my business. You can get extra health bonuses. Baker. Very you. you know. <laughs> well, of course, and Jews know how to operate ovens. Obviously. <laughs> no pun intended. No pun intended. And everyone's alive again. We only lost two Skylanders, though. Funnily enough, the two undead ones that were giants. <laughs> All right, you guys are alive again. Eyebrow really needs to be upgraded. I don't think Swarm has really any money, so. But I think um, Hot Dog has a shit ton of money. We can upgrade him now. And when we get to Swap Force, I'm sure you guys will still see some of these characters pop up now and then. I might just bring them into the set list because Swap Force adds another 40 characters i have them upstairs <laughs> but uh, i'll be sure to play some old guys too that i like yeah hot dog can definitely be upgraded Welcome back. press b to flip into the air and slam down to the ground like a comet okay i didn't get hot dog soul gem I guess not. It doesn't matter. In, in Swap Force, you don't need the Soul Gem to unlock their WoW power, so it's fine. Ooh. Okay, so you can, like, wee, wee, wee. Oh. Combo, wombo combo. There you go. All right. Wait, did I have enough gold to uh, get his uh, final ability there before he has to uh, pick a skill tree? Okay. That's also a dash move. It's like a dash... And an attack. That's nice. Welcome back. I approve. Can I afford that? 
648. And hold B to charge up the Comet Slam and do increased damage. Oh. I don't have enough money for that, though. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just grab the remaining stuff up on top of the ship. I know I'm not supposed to, because if you grab the Sapphire, then the rest of the gems don't show up, but... I'm going to play these characters throughout several games anyway, so the money is not really a factor to me. See, when you pick this up, it stops that money from being spawned. So what you do is you load the game up, you grab the money. Don't grab the Winged Sapphire here. Reload everything, and then the money will be back here. Like, you turn the game off and you reload everything, and the character saves the data on the actual figure itself. So, But I'm not, you know, going to do that. It's just mad. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be playing them anyway, so whatever. I'm gonna I'm get the money anyway. It's, it's fine. Guys, that shit's tedious Welcome to do. Back. So now we can upgrade that. Oh wait, now I can wait. Wait, I can't afford that. Ding dong ditch. After comet slam, leave a burning bag that explodes when stepped on. Okay, the soul gem is in. Okay, so I still don't have the soul gem. I just can't. Uh... You're not gonna do that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna play the game anyway. I'm not gonna fucking sit here and uh, abuse the uh, fucking thing to fucking reload the console, especially on stream. I'm not gonna do that. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh oh. So before, right before, you could. Oh, you could. I didn't even know you could do this. You can actually aim it. So I could be walking this way. Turn around. That's sexy. Oh, that's sexy as fuck. I didn't even know that. And now, also, I can charge it. And while I'm charging, I can also manipulate my direction. That's fucking sexy. That is... Wow, he just got way more mobile then. That's crazy as fuck. That's cool. That's a cool ability. Alright, uh, next expansion pack. Let's do, uh... Let's, I'm gonna save Dragon Peaks for last, because I think Dragon Peaks is the best one. We're gonna do Ice next. Empire of Ice. Adventure items like these. Adventure items like these give you access to glorious lands full of extremely hard penis. Checking something. I see High Tree left us, but Guts Gambino is still here. Of course he's here. I'd be nothing without my hundredth follower. <laughs> What the fuck? Is that a spaceship? What? Okay. The Skylander! Oh, thank the good Wahoos you came! Ooh, and you came just in time! Name's Haldor. I came just in time. This here icy wasteland used to be a sunny paradise? Flowers and grass and the nicest weather you ever did see. Yeah, I know. Sounds great. And it was! Until those ugly stacked on noodle necked ice soakers moved in and changed everything! <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> That's oh no, the axe guys. Oh god, no. Oh, the axe. They're like, they're, they're three hit kills easily. Two to three hit kills. It's crazy. Actually, wait. So I beat the main game. Did I unlock nightmare mode with that? Because I want to totally up the difficulty even more. Once you beat the main game, you get, uh, which I did, uh, you get nightmare mode, I believe you do. So I should actually be able to turn it up to nightmare difficulty. Which, I'm pretty sure in nightmare difficulty, everything is like a one-hit kill. <gasps> Let me see, can I do that? Uh, settings. General. Adjust difficulty. No? Maybe, I think maybe this expansion stuff doesn't have it. Or maybe I just didn't unlock it yet. I don't know. Either way, in case you didn't know, what I was planning to do was later on, like years ahead, I would go back to these games in, uh... <laughs> you can use the snowball to kill them, that's cool. Um, you can, uh, I'm gonna go back and do, like, nightmare mode for this. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, like, Skylander Nuzlocke. I don't know why nobody has ever thought of not of doing this, but I'm going to do like Skylander Nuzlocke where I play on Nightmare difficulty and if a Skylander ever dies ever, I cannot play them again for the rest of the playthrough. I'm going to try to beat the game <laughs> on Nightmare difficulty, but if a Skylander ever dies, doesn't matter if I go to the next lover or whatever, if the Skylander dies, that's it. I'm done. Can't play as them anymore. 
I think that'd be very interesting. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why people never thought of doing Nuzlocke with this stuff. Because, like, you do it with Pokemon, right? Why can't you do it with Skylanders? I have enough figures to justify doing it. That's why I'm like, why doesn't any... Why hasn't anyone thought of it? Because I've looked it up and, like, nobody ever thought of doing Nuzlocke with Skylanders. And I'm like, why the fuck not? I, I completely forgot I even have this move. <laughs> but it's, like, the best move that he has now. I can even use it on the ice to, like, reorient. So, actually, watch this. Ready? Oh, no. I'm going to hit the cactus. Ready? Watch this. Ready? Hit. Reversed. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's such an awesome move. It's a, it's a mobility move and an attack move. Oh. Bonus area. Maze of obelisks. Dead space comes to mind. I've played Dead Space 1 and 2. I didn't like the demo for Dead Space 3, so, and I heard that was the worst in the series, and I agree, because it has, like, no horror elements to it. Um, I would stream those, but... Funnily enough, I played Dead Space 2 on my laptop. Yeah, it actually ran pretty nicely. I don't think I could stream it, though. Just because, you know, that ups the, uh... Processing required. Gotta be some kind of switch here. Oh, I see the switch. But I enjoyed those games. I would definitely stream them. But if I did, I would have to be on consoles. Just because I don't think I could stream them on my laptop. Dead Space 1 actually runs worse than Dead Space 2 on my laptop. Funnily enough, Mass Effect 2 and 3 have the same thing. Mass Effect 1... Oh my god. <laughs> Mass Effect 1 runs like uh, shit. Mass Effect 2 and 3 though, my laptop actually runs that at 60 FPS. On the lowest settings. But this move is awesome for this level, because I could just reorient myself as needed. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> that move is so awesome. That is a great move. That is like one of the best moves I've ever actually ever seen. Just like the perfect move. And very easily dodge the axe. Look at that. Oh, look at that. High level Skylanders play right here. I think it nicked me a little bit. I'll be up. Of course, yeah. My my plan is, as I said, I make about three thousand five hundred a month. So after thirty days of work, I will have about three thousand five hundred minus taxes or whatever, but still probably around three thousand dollars. So one thousand five hundred of that goes to rent in the new apartment, because I get paid that every month, so I can rent the apartment in the next month I will be able to pay that off again and everything. Um, Jesus, almost slid right into the cactus the cuts. Hey, and um, then I'll have an extra $2,000 to spend on whatever. I'm probably going to take 200 of that, set it aside for groceries, maybe even less, because I'm good at finding deals and everything like that. And um, then there's still an extra like 1800 that's Enough for fucking anything. <laughs> I, could, I could get any fucking PC I want. <laughs> any sort of spec. So yes, I'll be upgrading my shit, of course. The laptop may or may not still be used for streaming. It depends on how the apartment setup is. Oh yeah. Um, it depends on how the apartment setup is. If uh, I could have a computer near the TV or something. Or console streams. Because I might still have to use my laptop for console streams. It actually does an AoE so much so that it actually hits those guys up there. That's very nice. Man, this, oh, like, these moves. OP as fuck. And I forgot, also, I can charge it up. 30, instead of 30 damage, you do 50. That's good. That's good. It's so, it's like, it's so abusable, though, on this ice. That's the thing. It's, like, perfect for this ice thing. So I don't even need to... I can ignore the ice entirely, basically. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the, uh... Hidden treasure thing on here. Oh, well. Not that big of a deal. Money, money, money! But yeah, guys, if you're in Europe, you are fucked, because the new streaming schedule in a month, once I move out, will be in the evenings. So if you guys want to stay up late, I'd appreciate that, because I know most of my viewers are European, so. But yeah, nothing I can do about that. Just how the cookie crumbles. 
Tell me a story, Papa. Stories are still told about the greatest catapult ever built. Doomed to your past, bro. Which has defended the war. Sorry, Guts Gambino. Bale for centuries. Without the leveler, there is little chance. Relegated. Could defend I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it. Of I work during the days. I wouldn't get home until nearby. six, seven. Skip. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> Not that long of a thing, Rob. I wasn't even paying attention to it though. So, some of them are interesting though. Some of the story stuff is actually pretty uh, funny. Social commentary, even too, in it. These games have the depth for adults, that's the thing. It, it's not a kid's game, honestly. On hard mode, it's not. On a nightmare mode, it certainly isn't. And you gotta really understand the depth of the characters and, and what they can and can't do. I mean, honestly, when you think about it, right, Diablo has, like, what, five character classes on average, right, for each game? Maybe six, seven, eight, maybe? With, like, expansions and everything? Skylanders has, like, fucking what? Over, like, fucking... 300 classes like <laughs> yeah because because not only is the character upgradable right and, and each character has their own abilities but each of them has a skill tree that you must pick so you must pick between one or two skill trees that then further uh devout themselves to a particular move that they have whether it be like in this case the firewall or the uh, flame attacks here and that adds more depth to the character as well so really each character is like two different classes it's really quite funny. <laughs> Just how, like, Skylanders is like, yeah, fuck your shit, Diablo. It's funny, too. Like I said, these expansion levels were not designed for giants, so... I'm actually curious. Can I use a giant to break that wall? Because when these levels were made, they were made for the first game. They weren't made for giants. They work in the giants game, but... My question is, can I actually break this? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. See, in Giants, normally a wall like this, I could break with a giant and not a bomb. But, uh, again, these levels weren't made for Giants. So, they weren't programmed with that. Oh, well. And they can't exactly update them because the level is, you know, in the figure. <laughs> to unlock it, basically. Dream is going ape again. Yeah. Okay. Right when you pulled the giant. That's weird. I think it's honestly just the capture device. I'm st My settings are probably just... It's probably not even the cap... The capture device is hot. So it is pretty hot. But nothing that I would be terribly alarmed about. But um, I did lower my thing. Let me see if I can... No, not that. I always hit the video capture device. And that's not... That's my webcam. That's not the Elgato. All right, let's deactivate. You might, you're gonna see it disappear for a second. I'm gonna reactivate it and see if that fixes the issue. Instead of closing down the whole stream. Don't know why it does that. Seems fine now. I hope that's not my parents telling me they're coming home. No, okay, it's not. Because <laughs> they shouldn't be home until, like, 3 o'clock, so we should still have three hours. And I want this stream to be as long as possible, because, you know, I'm not going to be able to stream on consoles for a while. Unless they, uh, give me the weekends. And, and by giving the weekends, I mean get the fuck out of the house in the weekends, which is unlikely. If anything, I think my grandmother's coming over at some point soon, which sucks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, I need a bombs. I need bombs. I need explosives. Why can't I just take Boomer out? Boomer has dynamite. It doesn't work as a bomb. <laughs> <It doesn't>. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck your axe. Fuck your little spinny axe. <laughs> Snowball kill. I love it. This, this ice thing is actually probably... I think the uh, second best so far level. Oh, yeah. The pirate level is easily the worst. The ice one so far is definitely, definitely the best. Although the undead crypt one wasn't bad. The undead crypt one wasn't bad. It had a boss fight to it, which I was impressed by. The pirate one didn't even have a boss fight. It was mostly that stupid card thing, which was 
return. I don't even know why. We have a game about characters with different abilities. Let's go ahead and make gameplay with cards. And not even just like a card game, just straight up matching cards. Like the fuck, really? Who thought that idea was okay? Like here you have this wonderful combat system and you're not utilizing it in any freaking way. Ow. The pits. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well this this is still easy as fuck. <laughs> With hot dog anyway. Is there anything over there? Yep, there's the switch. A switch. I'm assuming there's multiple switches. Oh no, there was just that one switch. Okay. Is there anything over here, like a chest or something? No. Hot dog is so like is hot dog cheating for this? Cause hot dog makes this really easy. Kind of like how Swarm made that boss fight really easy. Because again, these levels weren't designed for the giants, and there's no uh, Spyro's Adventure character that has that, to my knowledge. <laughs> I don't think anyone has an ability like that. Because this just is like... <laughs> super easy. I feel like I should not be using Hot Dog at the very least, because this is, uh... It's just too easy. Camera. C camera. <laughs> The camera could still fuck me over. Oh, can I, uh... Aww. Wait, I want to try that again. This would be so cool if I can really break this thing. Let's see here. Nah, it's not going to let me do it. <laughs> it doesn't actually give me height. Yeah. I see. That's alright. I know I don't even need the fire ability to really get through this ice stuff. It's not like, you know, uncontrollable or anything. Is that a rock? Oh, that's like a Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like it looks like a rock. Right? It looks like a rock. <laughs> but it's the Kozak hat. Okay. All right. These hats aren't worth shit though. Like they're like terrible hats cuz again, Giants has better hats cuz they added new hats for more stats. You know, power creep is sort of like an issue, especially in Imaginators, I heard, where pretty much all of the older characters, not as strong, supposedly. I don't, I haven't played Imaginators, so I don't know. Imaginators being the latest Skylanders game, which we won't get to for years, probably. <laughs> Just saying. We still have Swap Force, Trap Team, Superchargers, and Spars Adventure. So, we got plenty of Skylanders to go through. And Swap Force and Trap Team add new characters each, so. Alright, so that's good, but. Okay, the bomb is here. And it's faster to run. And I need another bomb for that, right? Skylanders of the Tech No, okay, I can break this down. Skylanders of the Tech But there was another place I needed a bomb. Hold on. This was like the main area I'm supposed to go to. But there was another one. There was another place to put the bomb. Do I have the physical models? Of course. You can't pirate this. First of all, this is an Xbox 360 only game. Actually, it's not an Xbox. It's on Xbox 360, PS3, Wii. And Spyro's Adventure is actually on Steam, I believe. But that was the only Skylanders game to be released on PC. The reasoning being that it was very difficult to get the portals to work on PC hardware because everyone has different hardware and it was just way easier for them to manage the console hardware and make the portals work on that. Yeah, I have the figures. And this is Jetvac. I haven't actually played him at all. Actually, I've never actually... I think I played him maybe on the 3DS once. That's it. Not that I hate him, I just haven't... He was one of the later characters I got for Giants. Although, actually, I think he was in the first game as well. So you can actually tell... Let's see, I have a, uh... yeah, there we go. So, this is a Spire's Adventure character. Let me actually get the webcam preview up so I can show you more clearly, because I know this is, like, far away. This <laughs> is a Spire's Adventure character. The reason you can tell is because of the green base. The green base indicates that it was from Spire's Adventure, the first game. This is Dino Ring. Uh, this character is originally from Giants, 
This is Jetvac. He's originally from Giants, but this is a uh, repose for Trap Team because of the red base. See, Giants normally, Giants characters have an orange base if they originate from there, but some characters were re-released. Flashwing here was not re-released, so she was only in Giants, so she has an orange base. And uh, the bases are what easily tell you what basically game they were from, but this character is from Giants. This is just a uh, series two or three figure, uh, which means that he was re-released as a different pose for Trap Team. This knowledge. It's actually, I, it, it required a lot of looking up to learn all this shit, because this game is hard to uh, wrap your head around, because there's no other really game like it. You could say Disney Infinity, but Disney Infinity isn't as complicated as this. It gets pretty complicated. So, like, Chill, for example, Chill, is also a character from Giants, but she was re-released. This is the re-released figure for Swap Force. Now, the reason I got the re-released figures is that the more the higher the series is the one you want to get because it doesn't matter what series they are if they were released for say giants they'll work in giants um the reason i got the higher advanced figures though is that they have different abilities in the game that they were released for so chill here will have a different what's called a wow pow um or another move that i forget what it's called uh she'll have more abilities in swap force because she was re-released for Swap Force, and when they re-release the figure, they give them a new ability for that game they're re-releasing them for. So that's why I got the figures that are the highest they could be. So Shroom Boom here is also a Giants character, and he is also re-released for Trap Team. All of the Giants, though, like, say, Swarm here, were never re-released. They were just made for Giants, and they were never re-released. They all have the orange base. But, again, all of these characters can be used from the game they were released onward. So, this character was released for Giants, which is this game we're playing. But, uh, he could be played in Swap Force, he could be played in Trap Team, he could be play, played in Superchargers, he could be played in Imaginators, it doesn't matter. He could be played in all of them. Uh, the only thing he can't be played in is Spyro's Adventure because he wasn't released. If the figure wasn't released for that game, he can't, uh, be, you obviously can't play him in that because he wasn't... He wasn't made when the game was around. So there you go. So yeah. Of course I have the physical models. There's no way to there's no way to get around it. So actually how it works, just to clarify how it works, because actually the only reason I know how it works is that uh, when I bought one of these on eBay, it came broken. This is this isn't a broken one, but the reason I know how it works is so what's inside of these is an RFID chip. What this does is this is actually, there's no batteries in this. There's no batteries in this, but it does actually save data on the figure. That's how Hot Dog remembers that he's level 11. He remembers that he's level 11 because there's actually a chip in here, which the portal, this is the portal. <laughs> See, it glows different colors. And um, this actually reads and writes data. So it reads and writes data for the figures. So... When I put hot dog on, it reads the data, number one, that it's hot dog. And the way it does that is is actually a piece of uh, plastic sort of, sort of like a QR code. It doesn't look like a QR code, but there's sort of like a sort of QR code inside the actual base of this thing. If you open it up, you'll find it. And actually, you can just take that little piece of plastic, put it on there, and then it'll show the figure up. But it won't be able to save data because it doesn't have the RFID chip, which is deeper inside of the base. But again, you put the figure on, it reads the, the data. That's how the game works. I never actually explained that <laughs> um, during any of these Skylander streams, but that's how it works. And it reads the data that's on the chip, which says that Hot Dog is level 11 and he has these abilities and this much money. And the game constantly saves data as you play the game. It just live saves data to the figure. Um, and then, of course, you can manage the figure the figure's data you can reset change ownership reset completely wipes the figure so it resets them back to level one no money or anything so you can always reset but yeah i never actually explained how any of that works <laughs> um it reads and writes it basically with um as far as i can tell it's an rfid chip which i believe correct me if i'm wrong i believe rfid chips use infrared signals 
That's how it does it on the 3DS. So the 3DS versions of these games, by the way, are completely different games. They're completely different. <laughs> I'm not resetting Hot Dog. We just got this awesome ability. I'm not resetting it. Um, so they're completely different games on the 3DS. So Giants on the consoles is a completely different game than Giants on the 3DS. Number one, characters often have slightly altered abilities. For example, every character in Giants in the 3DS game has a dash move. They can all dash. Hot Dog does not have a dash move in the console version. Reset my capture device again? Seriously? Doing it again? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Are you gonna do this every like 20 minutes? I keep hitting the webcam. I don't want to reset the webcam. The webcam doesn't need to be reset. This is honestly probably just due to the webcam. I need to probably still lower my settings a bit because my laptop can't seem to handle that. Let me uh, turn that off for a second and reset. Not reset, but let me change my webcam here. Okay, right now I'm doing like a smaller version of 720p. I'm going to reduce that even more to like 480. There we go. Yeah, so I got a little lower resolution, but we'll see if that perhaps eases up on the laptop. No, I don't want to do that. I want to alt-click. There we go. And then I can just make myself a little bigger since we reduced the resolution a bit. Yeah. So now it's like 480p. But we'll see if that makes it any better. Because the laptop probably just can't handle all this shit going on. It's probably not even the capture card. It might be the capture card, but I sincerely doubt it. Because I'm not doing anything that I normally wouldn't do. The only thing that's changed is the webcam. So my laptop has to process that as well. Okay, there we go. So we'll see if that works any better. If it at least lasts longer. But yeah. Um, so yeah, to my knowledge, it's infrared signals. The portal sends out and receives infrared signals. And that's how it reads and writes data. That's to my knowledge. I think that's how our RFID chips work. Um, they actually had a lot of difficulty when developing the first game. To get the chips to actually remember the data. But... Um, they got it to work. <laughs> so there you go. It works flawlessly. There's no issues with it. I've never had an issue where a character wasn't able to be read or forgot data or anything like that. So the 3DS actually does use infrared signals. I know that because what it does is the 3DS has an infrared receiver. So what it does is the portal, you put the character on the 3DS portal, which is a different portal than this. And then the character sends, the portal then sends out an infrared signal for the 3DS to read. I can't show you because I don't have things down here, but, you know. But um, then it sends out an infrared signal to the 3DS to tell the 3DS what character it is, what level it is, all that sort of stuff. There's no money in the 3DS versions of the games, by the way. There we go. I was like, I, I don't need to bring a bomb up for that. But yeah. It's very complicated. To, to like first learn all this stuff but it's worth it because the game series is great to me to me this is like a great game series okay those axe guys don't do as much damage only because this is an expansion level if this was like an arena battle like they would be killing me in two hits yeah the expansion levels again weren't really designed for giants characters <laughs> i've been here for five months claro can i have mod I don't really need any new mods, but considering I don't have any mods today, I mean, I guess, right? Because I don't have any mods today. But the question is, it's going to be, you know, though, in like a month when I moved out, you're probably not going to even be here live, sadly. I, I say that with sadness because I know that if, like, I know most of my viewers are European, but... I'm only gonna be able like on the weekends I will stream in the afternoon though guts can be no so on the weekends when I move out I can stream at like the normal time of 1 p.m. EST. Fuck him, not me. <laughs> Rob, I I wouldn't give you mod privileges anyway because uh, you've been a you you've been a bad boy. <laughs> bad boys don't get to be mods. There you go, guts can be no. You are now a moderator. I mean, the rules are pretty simple, Guts Gambino. The only thing you really need to worry about is any sort of spamming and anyone posts, like, a link to porn or something like that. That's about it. Otherwise, I couldn't care. I mean, I'll mention it if I really need you to do something. 
I'm a wild vigilante. That means you're irresponsible. Been here five months. For the record, time doesn't make a difference to me. It's more of like the right viewer needs to be the moderator. That's that's my book. That's how I roll. Although Sladuri posted a link to black.com one time. So Jesus. Gotta be careful, I will be knocked out. <laughs> I can get knocked down there, so. Good gravy, you did it! Now just come on back to the castle. Gravy isn't never good. I don't I don't like gravy. I don't like gravy. I don't like turkey either. Thanksgiving is a stupid holiday in my book. So is Easter. But at least Easter, we don't have to eat stupid shit. With great power comes great responsibility. I mean, I just don't want my moderators being like tyrannical or something, you know? Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty open to things. Like, even if someone like insults me, it's cool. I'm not, you know. I got thick skin. Can't grab. I don't want to grab my hair. <laughs> like pull on it. There's some hair here, but I need to shave that. This is really all I do is ever do uh, this. Although I had a chin strip before. Oh, we're doing like pirate ship again. Oh, I see. Oh, this is way better than the pirate ship. This is way better than the pirate ship. Yeah, this is way better than the pirate ship. It's like Breakout, except you control the ball? Huh, that's actually pretty nice. I'm pretty okay with that. It's like Breakout, but you control the ball. Mexico on Ice Simulator. <laughs> that was good. That was good. It's funny, because I work with Mexicans. <laughs> Funnily enough, Mexicans don't do a very good job. <laughs> um, some of them do. Most of them do. The, the, there was one Mexican, though, that I worked with, and uh, he didn't want to do the job right, and the boss had to yell at him. So that was fun. Yeah, this is way better than the pirate ship thing. Jesus. Yeah, this is way better than the pirate one. The pirate ship shooting was terrible. This is, this is okay. This is like Reverse Breakout, which is rather original, actually. I don't think there's really many games that have Reverse Breakout. It's not even so much reverse breakout, it's just kind of like an alteration on it. Kind of like instead of, again, shooting the things, you, you, you shoot the things instead. Three times. Oh my god, what? They even develop power-ups for this thing. That's crazy. The next shot does three times as many uh, things. That's cool. That's why I love this game. It's full of, like, actually really new ideas, honestly. You actually have to hold A to different degrees to uh, shoot at different strengths. Yeah, it wasn't as tedious as the uh, pirate ship one, or as boring. Oh, and look at that, the world, woo! Goes back to normal, look at that. A plus, A plus Skylanders, A plus. Props. Props for that. That was nice. Huzzah! Hey, I haven't said huzzah in years. It's always been wahoo! But now that you've seen What about whoa? Like Spring Crash Bandicoot. Slidery has me doing that now. <laughs> I can feel the air warm enough Do you already. watch the um now, archive videos me, often, Guts Gambino? Because you should know that I also delete archive stuff from Twitch and I put it on the YouTube channel. But on the weekends, actually, so for the record, I should have mentioned this at the start of the stream. So if you're, if you are a European viewer on the weekends, I will be streaming at the regular time of 1 PM. So you still have me then. <laughs> and I will be able to stream on consoles on the, on the weekends when I move out. Not right now, but you know, I don't know. Did either of you guys watch the uh, tarot card stream? I think Gorman, sh yeah, Gorman was the one that showed up at the end. He wasn't there for, like, all of it. I don't know if he watched the rest of it. I have no idea. 
Anyway, we can upgrade hot dog again. I can upgrade hot dog. Welcome back. Yeah, Rob, you were there. Rob, you were there for the stream. Yeah, you were there. I remember, Rob. I remember. Wall of fire. Walls, walls of fire do increase damage. Okay, I was gonna say that was grammatically incorrect. I got bodied by the cards. Burning Bow Wow. Further develop your fire bark attacks or further develop your wall of fire attacks. I wanna do the wall of fire. I wanna do the wall of pyro pooch. I wanna do wall of fire attacks. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I uploaded like five old stream videos to YouTube recently. I think actually all of Ghost Recon Future Soldier is now on YouTube. So that's sexy to me. Although I think the stream cut out at some point. So I think you never actually see the ending of the game. I'm not positive because for whatever reason, it only recorded like 20 minutes of it. And then I think OBS crashed. Yeah, I think OBS crashed and I didn't know. Right. So I streamed for like another hour after that. And I don't think it was recorded. So I think actually if you watch the part five of Ghost Recon Future Soldier, you'll see that it just sort of like is only 20 minutes and you never actually see the ending, which kind of sucks because the ending was pretty intense. That game was good. That's the second time I've actually beaten that game. It was a good stream. I like that. Walls of fire travel faster and do even more damage. Walls of fire are bigger and do even more increased damage. Okay. Let's get that. Unleash the fire. He actually gets a bone in the later games, too. That's actually why his figure has a bone. Um, Because in Swap Force, whatever abilities he gets adjusted in Swap Force, he actually gets, like, a bone. I'm assuming that's used for some kind of attack in the future. But now... Oh, that is way... That is, like, easily even triple the speed of what it used to be. So the thing about this firewall ability, too, is you can see when it hits a wall, it actually will stick around. So you want to, like, get enemies near walls with it. That's what I'm saying. This game has depth to it. Does his bone get bigger? You uploaded part four after five? No, no, no. I uploaded both at the same time. It's just that um, one of them was published sooner than the other. Guts Gambino. Don't you tell me nothing. So now we have this ability, his basic attack, and his firewalls are upgraded. And we have more upgrades to do, which it looked like what he does. It looked like one of his upgrades, what it does. I, I don't know, because I didn't see it yet. But I think what it does is he'll actually... When he does the firewall, it'll shoot one out, and then it'll actually summon a bunch of little dogs, and they'll shoot, like, another wall out after some time. That's what it looked like, anyway. That's why I was like, that looks like a cool ability. I want that one. All right, we do have our last expansion pack, Dragon's Peak. Well, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to switch characters, though. And like I said, this won't, be the la this won't be the last time we see these characters. I'll bring them in in the later games like Swap Force and Trap Team. You know, I'll cycle all my characters through that I have. Um, of course, when we play Spire's Adventure, we will only be able to play as the Spire's Adventure characters, which is very limited, because there's only four characters for each element. But, you know, is what it is. Um, let's go ahead, so we're gonna do Dragon's Peak. Let's try out... Who, who haven't I played today? Who haven't I played much of? You know what? I want to show you the cutest one. The cu to me, the cutest Skylander is Flashwing. Flashwing's the cutest. And she wiggles her butt. I mean, what's not... She wiggles her butt when she attacks. See that? She wiggles her butt. And she giggles when she wiggles her butt. I mean, come on now. Rated E for everyone. That's fucking beautiful. I love it. And plus, I mean, the expansion pack is called Dragon's Peak. Actually, uh, this expansion pack... Again, these expansion packs were released for Spire's Adventure. They just happen to work in this game. Um, in the later games, actually, these don't work as levels. But what they do do is when you put them on the portal, say, in Swap Force or Trap Team or whatever, they'll unleash that AoE attack that we kind of saw during the pirate section. They'll actually unleash an AoE attack instead. A one-time AoE attack per level. So, they're still. It's nice that the developers still make them useful <laughs> in the later games. Dragon's Peak. And all of them do it. All of them have a different, like, AoE attack. So, it's pretty sexy. This actually looks very similar to the 3DS version 
of this level. Of course, entirely different game design because on the 3DS versions of these games, the characters can actually jump. By the way, when we get to Swap Force, guess what? All of the characters can jump now. <laughs> In Swap Force, they finally added jumping to the console release. On the 3DS versions, all the characters can jump as it was. Because the 3DS version of the game was always a platformer sort of thing. Plus combat. This is more of like, obviously, a Diablo sort of thing. And I serve the great King Ramses. The great King the Ramses. The leader Dragon's Peak has ever known. He ruled these lands for centuries. And yeah, when this expansion pack was released, they released a figure with it. Which was, uh, Sunburn is his name. Yeah, Sunburn. You can see he's a uh, Series 1. He's He was released in Spire's Adventure. I like him. He's very cool. He has a teleport ability. He can teleport. Take him out. You know. The only character I know of that can teleport, besides Fright Rider, but Fright Rider's teleport is a little different. I'm now accustomed to watching your stream with a face cam, so you can never go back. I didn't think to go back. The only time I wouldn't really use the face cam, I can't even make it bigger. It's really, it's really quite small. It is 480p right now, but it's still pretty okay quality and it seems like my capture card is not flipping out as much so my laptop can probably handle 480p it is a 720p webcam with autofocus it's a uh, logitech c525 i wasn't listening to this dragon guy at all it's fine and with the power of the dragon's throne because that was a long ass dialogue i've been talking for like two minutes and he's still talking for two minutes it's all my fault no, the only time I wouldn't use the face cam is probably during um, whenever I get a new computer and I start doing uh, Skyrim live role playing. Is probably when I wouldn't use a face cam because I would be role playing the character in the game, so I wouldn't be using a face cam. Other than that, I can't really think of any time I wouldn't be using a face cam. But I'm glad you like it, Guts Gambino. I was a little worried because I know like wizards were like, "Oh no, he talks!" Like people were pissed off that I talk on stream. And then people were pissed off that I fucking have a webcam now. Nobody was pissed off, though. To my knowledge. Nobody was like, oh no. He's normifying it. Like, no. Skyrim live roleplay? Yeah, I, I live roleplayed Morrowind. Sadly, those streams are gone. I lost them. I had them, but I lost them. You could find the highlights, though, on Twitch and on YouTube. You can find uh, a highlight of me singing as uh, Nalvis Senotino, who was a bit of a drunkard. He liked to get drunk, but mostly because his uh, father died to the, um, to Dagoth Ur. He had a whole story. He was, uh, part of the Imperial Army. He actually got, uh, dishonorably discharged and sent to Morrowind. For his behavior. Because he kept getting drunk. Jeez, that, okay, that hitbox is deceiving. Have I seen the GTA 5 role-playing mod? No, but I didn't care about GTA 5. I wasn't a fan of it. Not a fan of GTA 5. I played GTA 4 recently, actually. Not on stream, but... I thought it was okay. But I didn't finish it again, but... I thought it was way better than GTA 5 overall. My villainous brother Vathic has seized the dragon throne and all the power in Dragon's Peak. But perhaps you can stop him? I don't have much to give you in return, Grace. But do I dislike about five? I promise you would have my eternal too much gratitude. fucking driving around. It's too, it's too much, like, it's, I, I hate open world games. I just, like, like, not Elder Scrolls. I like Elder Scrolls open world games because there's actually, there is shit to do. And there's a lore. There's a world, right? GTA 5, it's a fucking city. Whoop de do, and, and most of the time, most of the time I was playing that game was just driving to and from missions. That was it. If your missions don't last longer than the whole driving to them thing, yeah, your open world game sucks. <laughs> that's that's one thing I didn't like about five. I didn't like the mini games. I didn't like the movies. I thought Red Dead Redemption had better movies, which is ironic considering it was an old West themed game and they had better movies than the actual GTA five with modern technology um, available to them as a plot thing. Are we flying? Is that the gimmick? I bet you we fly him at some point. That'd be sick. Oh shit, we do! Oh shit, we do! Oh my, it's Star Fox! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's the better Star Fox game than anything Nintendo has made! Oh my god! Holy shit! 
It's fucking Dinosaur Planet 2.0. Holy fuck. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. What? Oh my god. Wouldn't it be cool if you could fly the dragon? Boom, you fucking fly the fucking dragon. Oh my god. I love it. Holy shit. That's awesome. That was awesome. And I, get, I bet you get to do it again, too. Yeah, I'll meet you at the next dragon one. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. That's fucking sick. That's fucking sexy. This is why I heard that Dragon's Peak was the best expansion. This is why I heard Dragon's Peak was the best expansion. Yeah. Fucking kamikaze guys. Jesus. Those are actually a new enemy. They're probably in Sprouse Adventure, but they weren't in Giants. I don't think they were in Giants. Frame skips again? Oh my god. I really gotta adjust my settings even more, but I can't do that without really turning off the stream, so. I'm just gonna have to keep resetting this damn thing. It's just, it's honestly my laptop. It's not my capture card. Because without the webcam, the capture card has no issue. And I don't want to lower the resolution of the game. I don't want to do that. I suppose I can also, I can lower the uh, output of OBS, because OBS doesn't even output to 720p. Technically, I'm streaming at 520. The resolution the capture card is using is 720p, but it's downgraded to uh to that. It doesn't matter when 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 it's happening. It just seems to happen randomly after a certain time period. Again, it's not the capture card. It's my laptop. It just can't handle processing it. The capture card does a lot of the heavy lifting, but the laptop still has to process the information. And right now, the laptop is trying to process my microphone, my webcam, and the capture card. The newest thing is the webcam, so. The Dragon King and it's, it's an Intel i5-2450M, so it's a mobile CPU, <laughs> which makes it even worse. This place is special to dragons, because whichever one of them controls its very top becomes the new king. Some fear that Vathic, an undead dragon, and the king's evil brother may one day try to steal the throne. See, sometimes these story things are pretty okay. <laughs> and sometimes they have humor in them. But they're pretty nice. There's actually lore to each of these characters. You can actually buy, for very cheap, you can buy a book called Skylanders Universe. It's $7 on Amazon. New. $7 on Amazon new. Even less if you want to get it in used condition for whatever reason, but it's $7 new, you can buy that, and it comes with the whole universe of everything up to Imaginators. It doesn't cover Imaginators lore, but it has lore for all the characters up to Imaginators. So, Adventure, Giants, Trap Team, Swap Force, Superchargers, it has all of that information. It's a, it's a pretty thick book. It's like, you know, that thick. Probably like over 100 pages easily. Oh! Star Fox again! Fucking Star- I love it! Rip off Star Fox! Do it! Because Nintendo sure as shit can't. <gasps> Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! This is great! This is better than Dinosaur Planet! <laughs> I, am I supposed to shoot landmines? Because it didn't quite work last time. That's just, it's just so cool to me. Yeah, I guess you can avoid landmines. I don't know. Okay, landmines are doing like way less damage than that. I don't think you can avoid landmines. Star Fox Assault was a good, I agree. I didn't play too much of it. Maybe I didn't like it as a uh, teenager for whatever reason. I mean, I liked Persona as a teenager and, and now I don't understand why people like it. I really don't. It's just teenage drama shit at this point. I like Nocturne, but Nocturne's gameplay is not fun to me. Nocturne has great music, though. I love the music and I love the aesthetics and the atmosphere. But Persona, mm, no. <laughs> you need an air I need an Air Skylander. I guess we uh, can finally play this. Shoot the mines on approach. That's what I tried doing, but the, my bullets seem to go right through it. So I said, I don't think you can shoot the mines. I don't think I've actually played them yet at all. Have I played them at all? I did play him on the 3DS. Okay, so I did play him a little bit on the 3DS. That's why he has no money, but he is leveled up. Because the 3DS version of the games have no money. There's no money. Like, whatever, we'll play as Jedvac. 
So he actually can suck up enemies, and I think he can shoot them out. I think that's his thing. I don't know. I didn't play him too much on the 3DS even, so I'm, I'm not even sure what he does. <laughs> and of course, he's not upgraded at all. And the thing to understand is, even if a character seems simple at the start, remember, when you upgrade them, you add a new attack move and add more depth to their other moves. So, like, for example, Chill, the, uh, I the Ice Lady I showed you before, she at first, yeah. pretty basic character, but then she adds, like, a pinball game element to her. Really cool. I gotta show you guys that again, because I don't think either of you have seen it. It's really cool. She actually can summon walls, and then she can knock the walls around like pinball. It's really fucking cool. So I'm saying, like, all the characters are unique. For however many characters there are, they are, in fact, all unique. The shadow's a little glitched there, see that? It's showing underneath the platform. A little glitchy there. What's the bomb for? Is that for the... No, that's not for the block. What was the bomb for then? Okay, I need to go back and get the bomb again. Not bouncing, no bouncing. He's very slow, let me give him a hat, hold on. Let me give him the hat, he needs a hat. I need to give him critical hit and maybe armor? Critical hit and armor. 10 crit, 10 armor, do we have a better one? 10 crit, 10 armor. Speed wouldn't be bad either, but I think critical hit would be better. Fifteen critical hit, six speed. It's not bad. I'll probably give him the critical hit and speed. Although he can get twenty-five critical hit there. Mmm. I think I'll give him give him just the critical hit, yeah. This is a fantastic look for me. <laughs> I have a galaxy on my head. It's great. <laughs> the 3DS games also have hats, but they don't actually uh, do stuff. Is that's where that's where the bomb's supposed to go? Okay, I think I need to. Uh... Weird. Okay. Oh! Oh, I see. I'm supposed to take it. Oh, I'm stupid. I took it the long way around. That's why. I see the problem. I was like, why didn't I, uh... Why didn't I get time enough to do that? But no, you just take it over here. Take it over there. Take it over there. There you go. There you go. Alright. Maybe that'll turn that off for a moment. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that switch turns it on or off, or temporarily turns it off. Yeah, I think it temporarily turns it off. I think that's the thing. Why did this block come here? Oh, that block. Oh, the switch does the... Oh. <laughs> it does the... It does, it does... It switches that rock away. That's what that does. <laughs> Ow. That kind of hurt. <laughs> Does the switch the switch also gets rid of that one too? Fuck's sake! Ugh! Fuck myself over. So this is what they mean by fuck yourself. Yeah, see that's there you go. Now that yep there there we go. Now I can move on and progress, but I must wait because I am a bird. I don't want to be a roasted chicken. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you should fucking say cuckoo. <laughs> Co cooked. Twelve speed, nigga. Damn, that's pretty fucking sexy. But he doesn't need speed. So he's got he's got nice attack speed. He doesn't need uh he doesn't really need speed. I can't drop down from here, really? Really? Really, game? I can't just fall down from over there? Thank you. <laughs> over there was acceptable, over there wasn't. 
I don't know why that was the case. He is very slow, though. So I'm gonna switch characters back to Flashwing. Because I like... I like women who are dragons and wiggle their butt when they kill things and giggle. <laughs> it's so fucking... It's so cute. And sexy. Rising up indeed. Oh, wait, that's the uh, dragon place. Let me go to this area first then. Everybody die now. Everybody. Ow. He leaves the electricity now. Uh, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Whee! Come over here. Come over here. I don't want to kill you from afar like a pussy. I want to kill you like a man. <laughs> Rising up. I mean, I did say last stream I'm kind of sexually attracted to uh, to Flashwing. I mean, who wouldn't? She's obviously the cutest, and she wiggles her butt when she attacks. I mean, come on now. So my question is, which one's the bonus area? I'm guessing this is like a bonus area. Oh, wait, no, that was locked behind enemies, but that still doesn't mean it wasn't a bonus area. I don't know which one do I go to? How is it furry, though? It's a dragon. It's not exactly furry. It's, it's more like... Reptil... Rept... Reptili... Reptili? Reptury. It's more like Reptury. But come on, she wiggles her butt, dude. And she shoots out shards. And she giggles while doing it. It's so fucking adorable. You just want to slap her ass, you know? And she'll shoot out a spike when you do it. That's like the hottest thing ever. <laughs> You're retarded. <laughs> wow, Rob. Wow. Right in the heart. Right in the heart, Rob. Just stab me right there. Hey, man, if I'm retarded because I'm sexually attracted to Flashwing... Also reset. Why would I reset Flashwing? She would still wigger her butt. That doesn't change that. Massive lags, really? This capture card. Alright, we really... <sighs> what are we gonna do? Can I change my video settings? I have to stop the stream. Mm. I don't want to have to stop the stream, because then that turns it into a new video. I guess I have to lower my resolution down. Hmm. Okay, what I'm gonna do, this should this should fix it. I, I'm out of options, so I'm gonna take the resolution down from 720p to 480. See what that does. It, it I'm still streaming at like 512p, so it'll be upscaled a little bit. But we'll see if that makes this capture card calm the fuck down. It's not the capture card, it's my laptop. All right, one second. Oh, but then it's not going to go fully. Mm. <gasps> That's why I need 720p, because it's not... Poopy in the butt. Alright, we're just going to have to reset it then. Back to 720p. My penis was retarded. Well, I blame the Jews for that one. Yeah. I need, I need to change my video settings entirely. Yeah, I know. I know. Hold on. Wee. I'm doing this with a trackpad. It's terrible. <laughs> Cause my I don't have enough H I don't have enough USB ports for the mouse to be plugged in and everything else to be plugged in. All right. Well, that also kind of reset it, so we should be all right now. Are you like? Why are you so mad, Rob? Why you got me mad? <laughs> why you got me mad? Are you jealous of my love for Flashwing? Is that what it is, Rob? You don't get enough love? Is that what it is, Rob? I mean, maybe if you wiggle your butt and giggle, maybe I could love you. Catch you on the next, you next, on the weekend. Yeah, okay. All right, I was like saying next weekend, but I'm streaming this weekend. 
I'll probably be streaming Sunday and uh, Saturday too, actually. Doing both. Yeah. As a temporary schedule. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, Guts Gambino. It was a pleasure to have you here. Be careful over here, my friend. I'm Guts sure Gambino is a great Rob viewer. Rob is a... Uh, Rob's an okay viewer, you know? He's okay. <laughs> I love you, Rob. <laughs> I love all my viewers, just not equally. <laughs> on my way, buddy. Now, Rob, Rob's one of my one of my better viewers. <laughs> Looks like you need a mod for Rob. I am the mod for Rob. Better mod him. <laughs> Why do people want to be mods? See you, love. It's a pleasure as always, Guts Gambino. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you I hope you love Skylanders as much as me, because I love Skylanders. I love it. I mean, granted, two of the expansions so far are kinda weak. The weakest one easily was Pirates thing. The Pirates one was so terrible. That was just awful. This stuff is fucking cool though. I love this. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's glitching again, my god. Ah, oh, this I don't want to restart the stream again because I don't want it to be another video because it's already two videos. Oh my god. But, alright, so for now I know for future reference that I can't stream at uh, even 512p at the very least. Or maybe at even these uh, encoding settings. I might have to reduce my encoding down to like 1200. It's like 1300 now, I think. I can't go to, um, if I go to 480p now, that doesn't change what OBS is outputting to, which is 512p, which is a 16x9 resolution, which is currently what it is. So I would need to restart the stream entirely for, to change that. And I don't want to do that because that'll make it a separate video. I mean, I won't be streaming for more than another hour or so. And besides, this is the last expansion, and then I'm going to switch to Spyro's Adventure. So we still have about... An hour and a half, two hours maybe. So I'm going to switch over to Spyro's Adventure after this. Because then then we're done with Giants. I'm not going to stream the arena stuff. Not all the arena stuff. I already streamed enough of it, I think. I don't want to stream more of it. Um, so yeah. We're going to switch games anyway. When I switch games, I'll probably reduce my settings a bit and see what I can do. Because, like I said, the only thing that's different is now the webcam. Because this is how my settings usually were without the webcam. But now the webcam is here, the laptop probably can't keep up after some point with the webcam data and the mic data and the um, Elgato data. Yeah, it just can't keep up. Yeah, I could even get probably even a modern netbook and it'll probably be faster than my laptop, probably. Even if it's only like 1.4 gigahertz clock speed or something, it might still be... A little snappier, at least. But, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get a computer, anyway. Once I move out. That's, like, the first big purchase I'm going to make. Is an actual freaking computer. <laughs> and then I probably, hopefully, will set it up somewhere that I have it access to the TV. So I don't need to actually do anything different for that. Although, then I need to figure out something to do with the webcam. Can I get, can I get to that island from there? I think I can get to that island. Stop following me. I don't need paparazzi. I have Rob. Rob's all the paparazzi I need. <laughs> oh, see that? Yeah, this is probably a bonus one. There we go. On my way. Bonus Star Fox. Let's see if it adds a new mechanic this time. Because I don't think it added anything new last time. Anything new? Never gets old. I mean, they've added, like, the, the diagonal stuff. Which is neat. It sort of creates a visual difficulty, actually. Which is interesting. I think they could have come up with more obstacles, though, or something. It's not freeform flight, by the way. It's just up, down, left, and right. Oh, wait, that wasn't a bonus area? I'm confused. Oh, now I missed all of that area. Oh, I this is like a confusing little thing. All right, maybe it brings me here and then it brings me back. Maybe that's what it does. Cause it's gotta bring me back. Cause that was like the main section to the level. Jesus, look at that fucking attack speed, my God.
Yeah, so I guess for future console streams, until I get the new computer, what little console streams they'll be. Um, I guess I'll have to... I guess I'll just try first lowering my encoding rate, because... But I might need to lower the resolution. Not to 480p, I can probably manage somewhere in the ballpark of, like, a little bit higher than 480p, because right now it is 512p. I'll see if I can go just a step lower, which I think might be, like, 490. You know, every little bit helps. And then I can reduce the uh, encoding rate, since I don't need that much encoding for that. If anything, I'm doing a little overkill on my encoding as it is. Because I'm at like 1,300, but that's really only useful for like 720p, which I'm not even doing. But you know. We'll see what happens. I'm not- I'm gonna change it when we go to Spyro's Adventure, assuming we have time. Because my parents could be home at this point. They could be home within an hour to uh, two hours. So it's one to two more hours of the stream. But, uh, yeah, when we switch to, uh, Spire's Adventure, I'll switch, uh, the settings so that way, hopefully, the capture card doesn't freak out as often. And actually, also, if you think these graphics look bad or good, um, Swap Force looks fucking amazing. <laughs> okay, even on the 360, looks fucking amazing. They completely redid all of the character models, even the earlier Skylanders, with like, full HD treatment. Which, the reason they didn't do that before, by the way, is because the game was released on the Wii. So this is sort of probably, like... I don't know if the Wii was the was the console they, like, aimed for initially. Either way, um, they, they dropped the Wii as a platform for, like, superchargers. In fact, actually, they gave the Wii superchargers, they gave them the 3DS port of the game, basically. They made a separate game of superchargers for the Wii, and then they ported that to the 3DS as well, which I, I own that one as well. I have Superchargers on the 360, which is a completely different game than the one on the Wii. The one on the Wii is the same as the 3DS. Because the Wii couldn't handle Superchargers. So they said, fuck it. <laughs> We're not going to keep downgrading these things. Just so the Wii can fucking run the shit. <laughs> so Superchargers, the 360 version anyway, was exclusively just a PS3, 360, NNA, Xbox One, and PS4 thing, I think, as well. There's not too much of a graphical difference between those two, uh, things, though. That's why I'm not bothering to, like, you know, wait until I get a freaking Xbox One or a PS4. I would get a PS4. <laughs> um, just because there's not that much of a graphical difference. The shadows are a little better. That's about it. Textures may be a little sharper, but, eh. I mean, the game still looks fine, but I'm saying, like, Swap Force looks fucking amazing. Highlander. This is also the longest expansion, I think. It feels like the longest. This is why people probably said Dragon's Peak was the best expansion for these, uh, for this stuff. By the way, Swap Force also has, uh, expansion levels that are completely different. They have, uh, Sheepwreck Island and the, uh, and the Tower of, uh, Time. Those are the two expansions that were released for Swap Force, and I have those. Oh, that was a little challenging, alright. You gotta be quick. And sort of, like, remember where the things are, honestly, in order to actually hit them. Get the monies. Gotta get the monies! Reset. What, reset the freaking capture card? Oh my god. Don't worry, I'll try to fix it when we get to, uh... Fucking... Browse Adventure, my god. All this because of the webcam. I don't want to turn the webcam off. Is that the webcam has greatly benefited the stream in my book in terms of entertainment value. Everyone seemingly has unanimously agreed on that. Thanks for letting me know, Rob. Let me make sure it's showing up. You're going to work? You're going to show up? Yeah. No. There we go. <laughs> delete webcam. Delete. I can't delete it. I can't delete it. I cannot delete it. It is good. It is good for you, Rob. It's as good for you as it is me. <laughs> Rob's like, I'm uncomfortable. Good. Precious. Precious. Oh yeah, like she just 
makes the noises, you know? She just makes the noise. I love Flashwing. What can I say? She makes the noises. Oh my god, I don't I don't want to die at all right now. Jesus Christ. <gasps> this is worse than that electric part in the uh, Giants game in the regular levels. My god. <laughs> You can't stop that on a dime, by the way. You'd have to let go and wait for it to do its minimum uh, timing. Wait for it! Aha! Cheese! She likes to eat cheese! She's gonna be a fatty dragon when I'm done with her. <laughs> Clarel, stop wanting to fuck Flashwing. I, you know, she wiggles her butt. Look at that. Like, come on now. No other Skylander wiggles their butt. That's like one of her unique things. She wiggles her ass. I mean, all right, Bash wiggles his ass, but Bash is not like sexy, you know? Because <laughs> he's like poop colored. He's brown. <laughs> That's racist, Clarel. I know. <laughs> but it's true. Purple is white. Purple and white is like the best version of fucking white people. Oh, that's the big baddie. Oh, that old fool ran. You're a dragon, not a snake. You've come to take the you don't do the S thing. From me, have you? Well, Big black dragon. This is awkward, isn't it? I'm fighting him as a uh, purple-white flash wing. She's fighting the big black dragon. They will punish you for your Rising up. <laughs> Rising up to the black dragon. Don't correct me, Rob. Don't correct me, Rob. Rob. When you stream, Rob, you can label dragons correctly, okay? Otherwise, I'm gonna try to avoid having Flashwing die here. My dude. N nigga, I'm your whiz bro, okay? I'm not your dude, I'm your whiz bro. Alright? I'm your lover. From another mother. <laughs> Stop trying to electrocute me, my god! More like flashlight. <laughs> flashlight? She's flesh wing. <laughs> flesh wing. That's what her name is to me. She's flesh wing. Is she, like, see? Now you're getting it, Rob. She is fucking sexually attractive. It's not just me, man. Flashwing is literally the most attractive dragon I've ever seen. And probably the sexiest Skylander. I mean, Sprocket's kind of cute because she has, like, that tech girl vibe because she is, like, she's, like, a mechanic. So she's got, like, that tech girl vibe, but she's no purple-white dragon, you know what I'm saying? Like, she ain't no purple-white dragon. Mash that triangle button. All treasure chests have been found. I wonder what upgrades we still have for Flashwing, because I know she's not fully upgraded. I also forgot to do the hidden chest. Oh, well. Bouncy. Bouncy. One more. Bouncy. Oh, there we... Oh, wait. Wait, I gotta get... A oh. Almost missed the hat. Almost missed the hat. Oh my god, it's like, oh! Oh, that's so cute. I mean, it's, it's completely worthless in terms of stats. But it would look great on Flashwing, let's be honest now. But it's completely worthless on stats. I don't think hats play as big as a role in Swap Force. I would hope not, because honestly, my problem with hats is it kind of fucks up the character model. Alright, I thought I heard someone at the door. I was like, are my parents home? And I was like, really? Because they shouldn't be home yet. But no. 
They're not. They, they said around 3, 3.30. So presumably we even have another hour and a half or so. Which is enough time to switch over to uh, Spire's Adventure, hopefully, and beat at least one level on that. Because you can't, like, save mid-level, so. Rising up! Rising up! To the challenge. It's kind of hard to see where I'm going to land because the shadow doesn't work. <gasps> Big black dragon arena fight. Here we go. Curses. I'll summon all the minions. All the minions. Summon all the minions. All of them. I love the game Saturday morning cartoon humor. I love it. That's what I really love about these games. I love the gameplay, but I also love the fucking Saturday morning cartoon humor. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna change up because Flashwing is not good against those guys. She's not good against those guys. Magic is currently the best thing, but Ninjini's probably gonna die. All right, Rob, this you should find this one sexually attractive because tu es bu pipi dans una toileta. I don't. Need to use the toilet? Not right now. Do you need to? Because you're saying two. <laughs> As in you. Any last, wishes? Any last wishes? There we go. Not what I said. I don't know what you said. I don't speak whatever language that is. Ich kann Deutsch sprechen. Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Everybody get fucking wrecked! Everybody gets wrecked from the genie. All right, I have her. I have her B. I have her B attack. Yeah. Oh, that's like a. It's like a. Um, what's it called? You drank pee pee in the toilet. No, I did not. No. <laughs> I forgot she even had a ranged attack, so I upgraded her. That's an upgrade. These minions are worthless. I'll do it myself. Why didn't you do it yourself while the minions are doing it? Oh, another boss fight time? You're not that big, compared to me, anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, get wrecked! Ha! I've taken the throne, Vathic. And as you know, by dragon law, that means you no longer rule dragon's peak. You are completely... He speaks powerful. like he has Down Syndrome. Oh, no. Oh, no. How could I do this? For the oldest trick in the book. Now you'll pay for betraying Ramsey. No. Oh. No boss fight? No boss fight? To be heard Dragon Law says there's no well boss fight done, at the end Flavius. of levels. Now, sadly, what to do with my own brother? I suppose I will have to banish him. I don't know. He makes a pretty good. <laughs> wow, what a dick. Perhaps you're right. But I am curious. You could have kept the throne for yourself, and yet you did not. Why? Because, great Ramses. There is only one true king of Dragon's Peak. And it is not the dragon with Down Syndrome. The is yours until the day you decide has Down Syndrome. <laughs> Just saying. When I do, Loyal Flavius, I know exactly who will take my place. And of course, I must thank our Skylander friend most of all. Without your bravery and heroism, none of this would have been possible. True. True. You have to sit on the throne all day. You can't move. I don't, how do you take a shit? <laughs> you take it. Take it. That throne must be fucking filthy. How do you shower? How do you take a shit? How do you fucking I, food? You can get delivered to you, but you can't like. Does someone deliver like a chamber pot and you just kind of like put your foot on the throne and then you like shit it out or something like? You know. Eat your shit and drink piss. Pretty sexy. Live forever. <laughs> Alright, folks. 
Let me up uh, upgrade Flashwing before I forget. Oops, up. She has monies. Blinded by, the Blinded by the beautiful Flashwing, who's so fucking sexy. I'm sorry, but she's she's the sexiest Skylight. She just is. Aesthetic. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hold B to create a crystal lighthouse that fires. Well, I, that's the Wow Pal. I can't do it. Y'all. Condensed light increases your armor. Okay. Hold A to charge up. That's that's that's. Now she could shoot lasers. Crystal power. Crystal lasers. And increase my armor. Oh, now she I didn't even get to her path yet. I don't even know. Upgrade the crystal shard attacks or upgrade the shimmering spin ability. Crystal shard attacks. Easily. Shimmering spin. Eh. Eh. Power supreme. I don't think I have enough money though for another upgrade, do I? Nope. Crystals embedded in a wall heal Flashwing when she is close. Interesting. Crystal shards stick in walls and shoot their own crystals when A is pressed again? It's fucking sexy. So it's sort of like being in two places at once. That is fucking awesome. Oh, she has to stand still for that. Okay, so it doesn't actually like, charge up any differently. Basically, once it charged up, it's it. Yeah, once she, uh... A little bit after. Yeah, a little bit after she stands still. She actually can't turn that much when she's doing it. I wonder how much damage that actually does. Like, is that really much better than just doing this? <laughs> That's my question, honestly. Alright, folks. That concludes... All the stuff that I'm going to bother streaming for Skyliners Giants. Because we do have more arena battles, but I'm not going to bother streaming them. I don't think they're worth streaming. I'd rather go ahead and jump to Spire's Adventure. I'm going to change my settings a little bit. I have to change my titles. And um, we'll be right back with Spire's Adventure for approximately another hour, maybe an hour and a half. We'll have to see what happens. But I will be right back in about five minutes because I need to... Take these guys. Let me see if I can show you for a second. Yeah, I got to take all those guys off the tray <laughs> and uh, swap them out with the uh, Spires Adventure ones because none of them work with Spires Adventure, obviously. So I will be right back. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope to see you in five minutes. Maybe new people might show up. Maybe not, because it is actually now my normal streaming time. But I only have about an hour and a half. But we'll see how far we can get. And I will see if the settings can't be adjusted to make it less fucked. But thanks. Rape a panda. In the meantime, for the five minutes it'll take me to move all this shit around.